What's up? Um, so... One thing, I do have a five-part series of how I made this guy. And I didn't really explain how I did this part, the neck. And I know that when I started making suits and everything, I really didn't know how to um, do this part at all. The neck? No, that was out of the question. You just guessed that shit. I see some people who only sew the front right here and then the back and then it's just like two different strips of just like cloth just hanging. No, 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 no. You want this to close all the way around a like a tube of fur that connects to your head with an opening. I cannot tell you how to do a slip-on because I honestly... Because I honestly don't know how to do a slip-on either, but... I can teach you how to do a neck with a zipper and which is mostly more preferred and looks better it's easier to put on than to slip on safer too just in case you want to get them out of there pretty quickly here I have my specimen you don't really need a mannequin head for this part but if when you start sewing the neck you should have the backing of this already on and just just, you know, a little tip. Please, for the love of God, sew the back of your fur to your ears and your face fur to your ears. You, it doesn't even have to be very neat. Okay, so starting out, what you're going to do for the neck, you're going to measure all around the perimeter of the, I guess, base of your head? I don't know. But it should be at least two inches or an inch and a half or maybe even half an inch bigger than the dome um, circumference because it does tend to stretch out a little bit more. This head was really complicated. I accidentally made it a few inches too big, so it is a bit distorted right here. But it does still fit perfectly fine. Really, if you want to, if you have a full dome, you really don't need this back piece right here anymore. If you already have this sewn on, this is not even attached at all. There's really no purpose of it. I might just take it out. If Divinity wants to take it out afterwards, then she can. It, it's, it actually really doesn't matter about this back piece right here. After you measure all of this, you are going to lay it out. And this is craft paper. It is meant for wrapping your packages. But this is 26 inches, 26, and I cut out a 26 inch long craft paper for the, the head. So this is able to wrap around right here. And so what you're going to do is put this in two parts. One is going to be the front, one is going to be in the back. Of course, I did some math and I split it right down the middle. And it does evenly mash each side, so this is perfectly even. Choose one to be the front, one in the back. It really doesn't matter. When you choose... Oh, also, um, after you choose the length, you can measure how long you want this to be, how long you want it to go down. An average neck size is about 8 inches long, I believe. But I made this a foot long, a foot and a half just so it can scrunch up on the neck and drape down a little bit more in the front and the back just for extra fluff. When these two meet, it's not going to be straight edge like this. It is going to be curved. So you're going to want to curve those pieces out. When the neck fur does flow down, we are going to want it to point down so you can add extra paper onto the pattern. Or you could just... When you cut this paper out, you can make this part longer so that when you curve it straight, you can just make it a direct point. I did not do that because I am very unprepared, so you can just simply add on to the paper if you want to change up your patterns. At this point in time, you should have the V for each side, and basically you just label what direction your fur is going to go, and that's it. That's your pattern. Now you go and get your fur, and you put it on here, trace it, cut it, sew it, 
done. Your neck should be sewed on by now. And this is usually where a lot of people stop because they don't know what else to do. But they have two pieces sewn on to the perimeter of their neck. The fur is, the neck is really long compared to me. This is not practical at all for the neck would stop right here and then it would just drape all the way down to here. That's not practical. So it should be ending somewhere on the, um, probably like where the nipples start. Right here on the inside, these are the corners. And there's a corner right here and there's another corner on the other side. You will sew all the way up this to create a neck. But of course I'm gonna cut this short to make it more practical, like I said. And, but before you do that, after you're done trimming to the length that you want it to be after making mistakes, you install the zipper. And the zipper should be going from the base of where you sewed it onto in the back of the head down all the way to um, the, end, the end of your fur. My zipper that I have, I think, is 8 inches. I don't know. Wait a minute. Okay, so the zipper right here is nine inches the zippers that i get are coats they're called coats and they do come with instructions on how to install zippers which is really nice but this is nine inches long and this will go from the base it's pretty long because the base of where um the back of the head stops where it is attached to the ears that piece stops right about here and the neck will continue down the top of the zipper will be right here and it will reach all the way down the back which is should be somewhere right here so if you need a reference point of where you need to trim your fur to make it less long you can use your zipper as a reference but I really shouldn't have gotten nine inches this is way too long too much is better than not enough you know you don't want to put it on your head and it has a neck but it's not long enough and it's just like a mini piece of fur just like right here and you can see your skin still. I've seen that happen too. Don't be the person who just doesn't do the neck all together and it's just a head and there's no there's no fur attached to the bottom. Don't do that. It doesn't look good. You might tell yourself it looks fine but it doesn't. Stop it. Fursuits are something you go all out for. Fursuits are something that you know you gotta be skilled for. If you know your crafts, you know how to sew, you know how to do everything, then you can start making your fursuit. Just follow all of the rules. There are rules. I'm not saying that if you break the rules, then you're ashamed. But if you break the rules, you're going to end up on a cringe board somewhere in 4chan. So, don't do that. So, the base of the neck, from when it was sewed on, the neck part was sewed on, you can kind of see it right here. It will... The zipper will go right here, so I need to trim about four inches off of the back, and it will be okay. The zipper is sewed in. I used a straight stitch all the way down, hand sewed, and it works just fine. It is completely secure. It's tight. It blends in with the fur. You can't see it at all. And it doesn't take much work to zip it down, but I'm, I can't do that because I only have one hand. Look at that scar. I had a needle somewhere, but to sew these two parts together here and here, you are going to need one of these needles. And what this does, it's just easier to hook this through and then keep going and it hooks around to the other side of this and then you just pull. So it's just easier and less of a headache to have one of these. So um, again, I'm taking these two halves, I'm putting it together and I'm pinning it at the top. You can pin all the way down if you want to. I just pin the ends so nothing gets distorted and messed up while I'm making my way down. As you can see here, everything is pinned in place. You are never going to want to sew the neck on the outside of the fur because it does not look clean on the inside and it can rip easier. So everything is sewed through this side. And so you're going to take your hook 
you're going to see how magical this thing is. So, curves up, you just grab it. It is not really that useful around the top area, but once you start getting in here, where it's really hard to reach, this is super helpful. So make sure you have one of these. And there you have it right here as just an example this will this is what the stitches will look like you will need to go all the way down of course but just make sure that your stitches are really close together and tightly threaded i guess tightly pulled so that um it is really hard for these to pull apart and the neck will be a lot of like grabbing and pulling and everything for adjusting when the person puts their head on. So you're going to want for these stitches to be really tight. So yeah, this should be your finished result from the neck. So <laughs> this isn't my head, I'm actually shipping this out very soon. This is just like one of the things that I have always wondered about fursuits whenever I started was how do I attach a neck? And now you know because when I looked on YouTube there was barely any videos about it so I made a video of myself. Yeah. So thanks for watching and see you next week.